Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler. And Mike, and this high school swimming video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, and all of our coverage of Wilson High School this year is brought to you by Bruins alum Joel Batonio. Welcome to the loudest building in North America, the Long Beach Poly Natatorium <laughs> hosting Wilson for a big rivalry swim meet, Mike. Bring your own water. Yeah, we love to see this. Uh, we have not really had the full power and the full volume of a Wilson Poly swim meet for the last three years. This was the first sporting event canceled in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We finally get to see these two teams in their full element in front of the crowds. A lot of people hungry to make history today. We're fired up. Let's get right into the action. The girls 200 medley relay. Great way to start it. Long Beach Poly strong in this event and really trying to use their depth in these relays, Mike, to, to have their advantage. Wilson may have the star power, but the Jackrabbits hoping they kind of have the depth. Poly riding six consecutive league championships into this year, hoping to extend their uh, league record for themselves by winning a seventh consecutive one. And Bryce, Hong, Puckett, and Samorton win the relay in 155.66. Now to the boys' 200 medley relay, another strong event for the Jackrabbits. Uh, Colin Gear leading this thing off. He, you'll see a lot of him in this video. Uh, also Forzen, Saar, and Hammond in this race. And again, Jackrabbits, a, a comfortable advantage. Exactly how you want to start and kind of set the tone in this meet. Well, they're trying to snap a 48-year league championship streak by the Wilson boys, the longest in state history in any sport, and they're going to need performances like this. They win this relay in 135.68 as they show off some depth across the different strokes. To the girls, 200 free, a little star power for the Bruins as their counterattack comes in the form of sophomore Sammy Hamilton, who is just terrific in the water. You will see plenty of her in this video and all of our swimming coverage as she takes this one comfortably. 156.39 is Sammy's winning time. No drama in the girls 200 free, no drama in the boys 200 free. The Bruins rolling Hank Rivers out there, obviously the Cal bound senior, one of the best swimmers anywhere in the state, and he turns in a 141.53 to comfortably win the boys 200 free. Now the girls 200 IM, uh, Sophia Bryce in this one, uh, <laughs> really talented young swimmer. She's gonna win this one in 217.15 and uh, Mike, this is one of kind of the up-and-coming talent that, that we're excited to see and, and that the Jackrabbits can be excited about to counter what Wilson has. Yeah, she said she was a little overwhelmed by the volume of the meet, but she didn't look overwhelmed. She had a great day today. In the boys' 200 IM, it's Colin Gear, the junior for the Jackrabbits. He's hoping to be the one who kind of leads the charge to break that streak, that state record streak that the Bruins have, and his 151.88 shows that he probably... He's got something to say about it for sure, Tyler. Yeah, and he's being recruited for a reason. Now let's get the sprints. The girls 50 free. A lot of choppy water there in a close race. But Maya OD there in the middle for Wilson. She will get to the wall first and not the last time we will see her. She's all smiles after winning that one. And this is just a great race for water polo players. Yeah, <laughs> so for we sure. love seeing our friends from water polo season now in swim. Boys 50 free. You're going to see Gray Carson. 25.83 for OD. Gray Carson just powering his way too strong. No one's going to catch him. He's going to finish in 21.41. And you said it. This is the water polo race for sure. And uh, Polly's celebrating because even though they're not winning some of these races, they're finishing 2-3, which for those team points is really critical. Super valuable. Absolutely. The girls 100 fly. Uh, Jackrabbits all over this one. Freshman Maya Guevara doing her thing as the Jackrabbits going to go 1-2 in this one. Guevara's time 10286. So uh, Polly kind of on both sides doing a good job getting depth at the top of the podium and you can see Guevara fired up about getting that win as a ninth grader. Now we go to the boys 100 fly. Also very good race for the Jackrabbits. Yeah, this was an exciting race. Uh, Polly is going to get a big performance from Mordok Sar, who's going to finish in 53-69. And I, it was just so fun seeing how much each of these races meant to, you know, to each of the swimmers. The crowd is going crazy. Chaz is putting the three ball to the head. <laughs> uh, we go to the 100 free, and again, very little uh, doubt who is going to win this is Maya OD. Uh, leaving from here to put the OD in ODP, yes. actually, literally left from the meet to go to water polo ODP camp, uh, and then is flying back for winter formal. It's a busy day for the OD family, and she's going to finish in 55 5. Barely held off Zoe Grover, her teammate. So it was definitely Bruin on Bruin there. To the boys, 100 free. Again, it's Hammond v. Carson. And, uh, you know, both these guys very talented. Reese, the junior, 
Greg Carson, the senior, on the turn. You can say he's got a little bit of a lead. He would grow that. He just had more time there. 46-78 is Gray's time as he wins the 100. But again, Polly right there. More water polo bros. <laughs> but they had the depth kind of getting second and third in that race. Uh, the girls 500, a.k.a. the Sammy Hamilton race. Uh, Hamilton sold out on the Pantages. Hamilton sold out at the Segerstrom. Hamilton sold out uh, every theater in America, but certainly starring here in the natatorium. She's going to easily win this in 5-11-11. Almost lapped herself on that race as we go over to the boys 500, where it was kind of similarly an impressive performance from Evan Jew of Long Beach Poly, who got a lead early and was able to open it up. In the pool where it happened, Mike. Uh, <laughs> but, but yes, a great swim for Evan Jew, and, and you can see he comes in with a time of 4.40.94, and uh, going to need to catch your breath. That is the long, the endurance race of the day for sure. The girls' 200 free relay. Wilson, a stacked lineup. I mean, that's kind of a cheat code in this one. Sammy Hamilton, Zoe Grover, Catherine O.D., Maya O.D., squad and i think that's showing you why this is going to be such an exciting finish this was a very narrow team competition all day and as stacked as that wilson squad is the jackrabbits right there with them uh which is what's got us so excited for league finals uh next month but the bruins do win it in 141 53 as we flip it over to the boys 200 free relay which was really the race of the day some familiar faces for sure we've already mentioned gear forzon and pruitt for the jackrabbits uh, they're trying to get as big a lead as possible because the Bruins have the hammer. Hank Rivers diving in here. As I mentioned, one of the best swimmers anywhere. He's going to try and track down Reese Hammond, the water polo star for the Jackrabbits. And this race really highlighted what an incredible atmosphere this was. you got to just take a listen to the loudest crowd we've ever heard. Wow, the Jackrabbits barely hold on. 127.7 is the time. Uh, Hammond so fired up. <laughs> Rivers, you can see, very focused. Polly wins it by 0.21, two tenths of a second. Unreal finish in that one to the girls' 100 back. Again, Sophia Bryce doing her thing. Uh, a, a comfortable win in this one for her. She's going to go 101-24. More valuable points for the Jackrabbit girls. But they definitely have work to do. The boys in a better spot. And it's Colin Gear who's going to do his thing in the 100 back once again. Yeah, I think it's definitely a tale of two different teams here. Uh, really exciting stuff in the girls' race uh, where Polly's got this young talent trying to continue what they've been doing. Whereas on the boys' side, the Jackrabbits trying to unseat that historic Wilson run and Gear really showing something finishes in 51 flat in the 100 back. We go to the girls' 100 breaststroke, Nina Gonzalez. Uh, in a really exciting race here among uh, the top three finishes, Tyler. Yeah, Gonzalez at the top there in lane three. Wilson's in lane four, Chelsea Park. Lily Nagel for Polly down at the bottom in lane five. And it's going to be Gonzalez barely getting the victory as you see her embrace Park. A very even race for the top three, but Polly gets the win. To the boys, 100 breast. I mean, it's more of the Hank Rivers show as he's going to, you can see, extend his gap. Look at him come off the wall. I mean, he's halfway through the water before when he, come, when he emerges and he's going to finish this thing strong. 55-26 as Rivers again tops the podium. So happy to see Rivers and Hamilton and Gear and Bryce, these top swimmers in Long Beach, get the joy of competing in these meets with the full crowd here. Like I said, it hasn't happened in three years. They all talked about how much it meant to them. We move over to the 400 free relay on the girls' side to end things. For Wilson, another star quartet, Hamilton, Grover, Marr, and Maya O.D. Uh, really impressive performance for the Bruins. They are going to make a statement with a 344-66 finish to this meet that is also going to give them a team victory over the Jackrabbit girls of 91-79, the first time in the last six seasons of swimming that the Bruins have beaten the Jackrabbits. So we will see what happens at league finals. Yes, still plenty to be settled there to the boys' 400 free relay last race of the day. Uh, again, we've got Hank Rivers lurking, so the Jackrabbits know they kind of need to get out to a good lead. But Greg what Carson, Dominguez, and Torres setting it up for Rivers. If he's got a lead, you pretty much know how the race is going to go, right, Mike? Well, he has a lead. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of just flip uh, to the end of the story and see who's in the acknowledgments if you're looking for your own name at that point. But um, this is what Wilson wanted, I think, to make a strong statement at the end that 
even though Polly gets the victory here on the team standings uh, by a score of 98 to 74, the Bruins will have something to say at league finals as well, but the Jackrabbits obviously going to celebrate this dual meet victory over the Bruins. And man, we cannot wait for league finals April 28th and 29th. You already know the only place that's going to bring you the full 562 experience is right here at the 562. We want to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. And Mike said it, if you want coverage of League Finals, you are already in the right spot. It's going to be a fun year, and we will bring you all the action right here at the 562.org.